Hello everybody, today I am moving house. Yes, I'm moving again. So, the what's basically happened is, I got the keys to the cottage back in, I think it was end of October, beginning of November, and um, moved in, that was all fine. Realised the house needed quite a bit more work than expected. Um, so over sort of December time, I've had loads of builders come in, um, uh, there was one point where I had no toilet so when that kind of happened I thought you know what I'm gonna move back in with mum and dad again um, even though I was like it, I think the worst for me was I was awake in the mornings I was in my pajamas it was about half six I was eating my breakfast and then just builders would walk in and I had no curtains and um, I was living downstairs as well so it kind of got to the stage where I was like look I'm just gonna yeah, I haven't hadn't really fully moved into the cottage and we've got to the stage now where um, it's about 50, over 50% 50 done. Like I've done quite a lot of decorating, the carpet's in now, um, the roof is back on and the roof is now um, dry. It's warm, we've insulated it, so that is a lot better. Um, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. So today is an exciting day because I am moving back in. Um, I don't actually have too much stuff. I need to probably go and buy some furniture. I might go thrifting, that could be fun. But anyway, I thought I would show you the cottage and show you how much has changed because it's looking very different now. Here is the living room. It's looking very, very different to how it was when I first arrived. Um, we have added a lot of character with the fireplace, which honestly, it looks like it's been there for years. So if I take you around, um, ignore these chairs, all these green chairs that are here. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about them later, why they're here, but they're just chilling in the living room for now. Um, this fireplace, like before, everything was just a plain blank white wall so I painted everything sage, sage green first and that looked really nice but I wanted to add a little bit more to it so we went to the wood yard picked out these pieces of wood um, that have oiled and they just look beautiful like, look how much character is in this it honestly looks like an old piece of wood that's been there for years and then I thought you know what add even more character to it I'll add some brick slips now at first I thought you know what I can do this myself you know I'm a, I'm a capable girl um, I can do some tiling and then I realised that, you know what, a herringbone design might be quite nice. And I am very thankful that I did get a guy in to do these for me. Because when he first arrived, he probably spent about four hours doing mathematical calculations, drawing out where every single brick slip would go. And then he did it. So, um, yeah, he's done an incredible job. Like, even this bit that goes right down the centre, it's bang on. And it looks beautiful it's adds so much more character to the cottage and um, I've added lots of little pretty bits down here as well we've got some new um, stone here too and again I just love the colors it's so pretty and we've also added some new lights here as well there were some old lights here I think there was only one there for some reason I think maybe the previous owners had like little storage units they removed that so they could put that there um, but I think these are beautiful, they're like a sort of brassy, goldy kind of colour, so a really nice warm light. Um, so we moved those across a little bit just so then we can have this mantelpiece. Um, but I do, as I said before, we're not 100% done yet. I need to do some replastering and um, covering those bits over, painting this sage green again because that is white. Um, so yeah, there's still a little bit more decorating to do. Um, the sofas now no longer have dust sheets on, so that's quite nice, so I can sit back down again. Um, waiting for some curtains, so I feel like that will really transform the room as well. Um, I've also got a very pretty light fixture as well, which um, I think it was called Willow something, so it reminds me of, you know, my donkey Willow, and I just think it's really pretty. That's definitely like something that I went a little bit more extra for. And then if I head over here to the snug, um, that's not looking as put together, but it still looks quite different. You can probably tell that this isn't the finished look that you know I'm going for with the cupboards behind here. Still need to paint them, put some doorknobs on, but once it's finished, it's gonna look really good. Um, this room actually feels a lot bigger now and very different because this is where my bed used to be, um, back because we had carpet moth upstairs, so I didn't really want to bring any soft furnishings, so I was living downstairs for a while, which is quite fun, I felt like I was kind of in like a studio apartment, but this is going to be kind of where the TV goes, it's going to go on that back wall there, um, so it's going to be kind of more of like a TV room, um, maybe put my like Nintendo Switch or something here as well, um, but yeah, so this, this sofa's here, 
Um, might change the cushions. This is literally one from my old bedroom. I don't know if this is going to kind of go with um, the look, but it's just there for now to add a little bit of brightness um, and just, it looks kind of cute. Um, so yeah, the snug, not much has changed. We've got a new light fitting. I need to get some light bulbs to go in that, but um, waiting for my curtain pole and my curtains again, that'll be really nice when they're up. But yeah, so far, it just kind of seems like a plain blank white room. Like I need to add some decorations. So the fun bit is yet to happen. I feel like this whole project, I've done so much sort of renovation, making sure the house doesn't fall down. And we're finally at the stage where I can make everything pretty. Something else new is that we have lights up here. I really wanted these industrial style lamps to go above the dining table um, because everything's very open plan. So over there we have the kitchen, over there we have the living room. I wanted to kind of have these lights here to make it seem like it's kind of own room or own section. Um, and then behind me here, we have my beautiful dining room table, which um, is one of a kind. Literally, like I'm the only person that has a dining room table like this because I went to my local wood yard, picked out a big bit of beech, I believe this is, it's beech wood, and look how gorgeous it is. Um, I sent it to this guy who very kindly sanded it down, has oiled it, and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. It has little bits of resin in here that's black, but you can't even tell just where, you know, there are some splits and cracks in, and I just love how much character and what a story it has too. So something I need to do today is actually make this table into a table. At the moment, it's literally just a slab of beach. So I'm um, gonna put it up. We've got some legs for it. The legs are currently in the garage. So once I've done that, I can move my green dining room chairs around it so they're not in my living room anymore. Um, so that's the job for today. Also, forgot to say, I only have two light bulbs for my lights. So I do need to buy another light bulb for this one. But if I take you around to the kitchen, it probably looks exactly the same in here, apart from it does look a little bit naked because all my kitchen appliances and little storage bits and bobs are gone. And that's because yesterday I sanded down all of the worktops, I re-varnished it. I do need to do an extra coat today. I've only done one so far and I think it definitely does need a second coat. But before I do that, I'm going to show you upstairs because that's changed quite a bit too. Welcome to the stairs. Um, the panelling is now pink. This is Sanderson Light Rose, I believe. I am in love with the colour. It's so pretty. Uh, but it's only got one coat on at the moment because the carpet man came a little bit earlier than expected. So we now have carpet on the stairs. We have carpet everywhere. And it's really sort of transformed everywhere, pretty much, because it feels like we've gone from construction site to an actual home, which feels really nice. Um, yeah, also another reason why I haven't done the second coat of the pink yet is because I've got a lot of furniture that I need to move upstairs. And I know that when I move my bed up here, I'm gonna dent it a little bit. I'm gonna chip bits off. I mean, there are some bits here where I moved from one of the beds upstairs where, you know, we might have scratched a little piece or two, but it's gonna look really good once it's done. Obviously this needs to be painted. As I said, we're not 100% of the way there yet, but we're getting closer, um, but no, I'm really happy with how it looks. And I think the pink just brightens it up a little bit more. It's not like a cold white hallway. It's added a bit, I'd have added a bit of warmth to it, a bit of color. I feel like it brightens it up. Welcome to the spare room. I actually still have my like winter cushions and throw on here because last time I kind of lived here or was staying here was in the winter and it's now coming into spring. So I'll probably have to change these. Um, but yeah, this is the spare room. The reason why my bed's here is because this is a slightly smaller bed. My actual bed that I am going to be sleeping in is going to be in the master is currently still at my parents' house. So I'm going to have to move that at some stage. Um, this is my parents because I don't actually have a bedside table at the moment. So I'm borrowing that. The only thing that's kind of like new and nice here is my little lamp, which is very pretty. So that'll probably go in the master bedroom just because I really like it. And it's kind of like a sagey green, which is going with a lot of the themes that I'm going for. Um, this plant here is um, actually for the bathroom, because the downstairs bathroom, because that has no light, so I've got to have a fake plant. If not, all my plants will die. So I've just added a few little cute bits here and there just to try and make it feel a little bit more homey. Um, I can't wait until I can put like, um, well, I can do it, but once I've got the time to, putting loads of artwork up, I feel like that will really make the house feel like a home. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm going to be sleeping for now. It's nice and comfy. I actually quite like it. I feel like I've got 
I feel like I'm in like a bunk bed, but not a bunk bed. Feels very cozy, even though it's got like a slanted kind of wall. That's why I decided to go for white in most of the bedrooms, just because none of the walls are, well, well none of the walls are straight, but also, you know, there's a lot of character within the walls. It's not just like a box. So I thought the white really made the nice beam stand out. Um, this is actually the only room that I didn't have to have a lot of construction added to. So I'll show you the rest because that's looking a little bit different. This will be the office or the study and um, we've got a little new beam here that you would have seen in the previous episodes that have sanded, oxalic acided and then oiled as well and it's looking pretty good. At first I was really worried that a lot of these beams were going to look very Frankenstein-y where it's kind of like I've added a new bit of wood in but it means the house is structurally sound so that's good obviously we have the original here which is I don't even think this is oak, I think this is like pine or something, it's a totally different wood. But anyway, this room was all pink before, it's now like a crisp white, so I have a bit more of a blank canvas. I feel like once I've moved more furniture in and pieces and artwork, I'll probably have a little bit more of an idea of what colour themes I want to go for, patterns, textures, that kind of thing. But also, I thought I'd talk about the doors, because the doors do look very different. This had frosted glass in before, so we've taken that out, put some new wood in, um, I've sanded all these doors down. I haven't sanded them too much because I still want them to look quite rustic, that kind of shabby chic look, because these are the original doors. Um, I've oiled them down so it's kind of a little bit more all like the same colour, it's just added a little bit more. Um, the, the doors just look a little bit more rich now. Um, then we've also um, re-spray painted these handles which had like nicks on or bits of old paint and that kind of thing so they look brand new now which looks really nice and just again makes the doors look a little bit more put together but no really happy with how they're looking and then now it's time for the master bedroom now i hope these rooms don't seem too boring for this little mini tour because there is literally nothing in here but the things that are different are we've added this paneling and um, also i haven't really talked much about the carpet it's this really soft carpet it's kind of like a um, it probably on the camera looks quite grey, like depending on the light it does look quite grey. I'd say it's kind of like a torpy beigey kind of colour, but um, more cool toned. And it goes really well with um, the colour that I've chosen here, like it's almost the exact same colour, especially there's a little door there that looks like it's a cupboard but it actually goes to the boiler. And it's almost the exact same colour that we've painted that too. Um, then we have this oak archway that I've put in and I love it, I think it's so pretty just to open this space up so we've kind of made the two rooms into one but could very easily you know board this back up one day if I wanted to make it back into the two single rooms again and this is going to sort of be my dressing room. Um, we've taken all the doors off because the job that I also need to do soon is paint all the insides of here, I need to put some new sort of um, clothing rails in there too so it's looking a little bit messy, obviously I need to paint these shelves that we've put in too, once they're all white I can just imagine putting like bags or shoes in there and it all being organised, like, that's one of the things I'm most excited for that I haven't been able to do yet since I've lived here is organise like my closet or put all my clothes in like a wardrobe and just have everything organised so I'm really looking forward to that. The colour again that I've gone for throughout this kind of whole room is rolling fog which is the same as the panelling that I added and the little door to my boiler as well which I think is a very nice neutral colour especially for like outfit photos and things I didn't want something too colourful or out there just for you know contrasting colours I thought I was thinking like a nice green or a nice pink would be cute but if I had a blue like top on then it might clash so I went for something very subtle and neutral and I think it's gonna look so good when it's done but um, yeah I think the next thing I need to do is probably go back downstairs and get cracking with the countertop because I want to be able to put my appliances on there hopefully maybe this evening or even tomorrow morning just so I can actually make breakfast and things and have a functioning kitchen so I might have to get changed out of my nice clothes as well into my painting gear which I have worn a lot throughout the series. Welcome to my kitchen hall. I have a tub that used to have tomatoes on, which I'm using as where I'm putting the oil. Um, so before on this countertop it was varnish, sanded that off and now I'm oiling it instead. So this is the oil that I'm using. I've got back on my handy dandy painting top and I have a brush. Very very simple, very very easy. Time to pour it in and get started. No, this is quite satisfying. I've got to say it was probably a little bit more satisfying when I did the first coat after it had been sanded, but 
It looks good. You can see it come to life. Alright, that's all done. It does look very shiny right now and very wet, but it will dry up and look a little bit more matte. Also, something I haven't shown you is uh, the lights that the electrician has added under the cupboards, which just feel, it makes the kitchen feel a little bit more special, a little bit more fancy, um, especially when I have like, you know, my appliances and bits and bobs under here too, when I make it all pretty again. Um, but I did turn that light on, which was very useful actually, when I was um, oiling the work surface, because I could actually see a little bit more what I was doing. So there we go. We're now in the hallway. This wall here, all this sort of panelling, I have done quite a lot of prep work on. As you can see, there's bits where I've filled in and then sanded it down. So we're now at the stage where it's time to paint this. This wasn't high up on the priority list when we were trying to get everything done in time for the carpet. So that's why this hasn't been painted really like at all, but the others have. You can also see here I've filled in some bits. So it's looking a little bit more like put together. So once it's painted, I painted this wall, so that's fine. Um, and once I put some, you know, artwork up here, I feel like it's really going to transform this hallway and really feel like a home. You can make plans, but they'll change on a dime. So pour me one more best day in the line wide. Another reminder to never use a screwdriver to mix up your paint. Definitely not what I'm doing. Creatures and dreamers, they both believe. It's a new day and here are my table legs. So these were made by a local welder and I've also had it powder coated as well in matte black. Um, so while it's here, it's actually upside down at the moment, so this will be the side that, you know, touches the floor. I actually have some little stickers that I'm going to add so it doesn't scratch the ground um, or like, you know, the wooden flooring that I have here. Um, but yeah, today, hopefully, my table will be assembled. Um, we might need a bit of manpower. I've got my mum and I've got my brother coming over and between them, me and my dad, hopefully we can try and get this upright because this table is very heavy. The table legs are now together. We've bolted them up and my mum has literally just walked through the door. Time for some team help to get this on top. So here we have it, the dining room table is now complete. It's so nice to have all the chairs around it as well, not just have the chairs, you know, hanging around in the living room. Um, I have actually been living in here for the last two nights now. Um, so it's nice to have an actual place I can, you know, eat my dinner, eat my breakfast. This morning I actually had breakfast in bed, so there we go. I mean, I did go downstairs, make it, and then come back up again. Uh, but my bed's upstairs now, so that's really good too. Put some pretty bits, I've got some candles, I've got um, some daffodils, we've got the overhead lights as well that are now complete. So it's all really sort of come together. You know, this is such a beautiful table and hopefully it outlasts me and maybe my children or even my grandchildren could pass this table down. And it's got a lot of history, it's very local, it's, as I said before, it's made very local to where I am and oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And I think at first I was worried the green chairs were going to be a little bit too much, like a little bit too green, especially with the green wall. But with it all together, with the sort of texture and the wood, I think it looks really pretty. I'm excited to have like a little dinner party, you know, put some placemats down, all the cutlery, it's gonna look very fancy. I've, I've been so used to living on like garden furniture since, what, October? So this is, feels like such a luxury. So nice. Welcome back to the kitchen. As you can see, it's looking very naked at the moment because nothing is on the work surfaces. I know that's sometimes some people's style, like they like to have like, you know, some people have like an appliance garage. I think that's really cool where there's like a little, just zip it up and then bam, you've got your kettle, you've got your toaster. Um, I don't have the space for that. And I also like to have a, my house to feel a little bit like someone's living in it. So now's the really exciting part because I've done all the painting in here, done all the sanding and oiling of the work surfaces so I can get everything out and make it pretty again. 
Hungry for the road all my life Thirsty for adventure all my youth Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue time I hear a phrase My mother used to say to me Everything happens for a reason I get the feeling I need A little taste of home, home, home Just a little taste of home I need a little taste Conversation Steam coming up off the stove Photographs down the staircase Showing the stories unfold And every time I hear a song My father used to sing to me Sweet words of an Irish lullaby Here is the kitchen with everything in. It really does feel like a home now, especially having all my little pretty bits and things. Also, one of the things that I did when I was moving in, I was very lucky that when I was buying things, I tried to make them be pretty. So if they did have to be on display, I wouldn't mind as much. Um, so yeah, I need to buy some fruit to put in my fruit bowl. It looks very empty right now. Do you need to do like a full on shopping list? Because obviously I haven't been living here for a while. My fridge is kind of empty at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much almost finished. I need to put some artwork up to make it a little bit more pretty because there are some bare walls behind me here and also some blinds that I'm waiting on too. Once they're added, they're like a pretty floral, well not floral, actually berry, like a berry kind of hedge pattern, which is very pretty. But yeah, I'm very, very happy. It, it's all coming together now. It's all coming together. Eek. It's a new day and I thought it would be a great opportunity to start making the house a little bit prettier, put some picture frames up, kind of make it my own. Um, so first off, I have these picture frames. I actually bought these ages ago, like when I first kind of moved in, because I really loved the sort of sage green colour of the picture frames and that kind of inspired me to do my green wall. I actually, not colour matched them, but when I did all my paint samples, I actually found a paint sample that was really similar to this. So pretty sure it's Sanderson sage grey. Um, and then what I, I actually bought loads of like cute little flower books from a local um, bookshop and they do like vintage slash old books and um, these had some have some really pretty pictures of like flowers and things in that I've cut out so I'm going to be putting them in the picture frames now this book was very cheap it was literally what 50 pence so you know it wasn't breaking the bank and to get some really pretty artwork so I feel like I'm on Blue Peter here is some ones that I've done earlier so I'm just gonna pop this one in at the moment there's some really pretty primroses uh, so I'm just gonna take my little frame apart I have already kind of taken it apart but um, I'm just gonna pop this out oh please don't get caught or rip I mean that's not the important bit this is and then put it in because I've had to like kind of cut them to size, I kind of have to move them around a bit because to make sure that they fit in and look good. So I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna pop the back on and then it'll be time to hang them up on the walls. I feel like it's gonna be not the easiest task to hang them up on the walls because I kind of want to have them in like a little four together in quite a lot of different places and making sure that they're all level is going to be tricky because if one of them's crooked or one of them's a little bit higher up than the other then that's gonna i'm gonna be sitting there not looking at my pretty pictures i'm gonna be sitting there thinking that's not how it should be that's that's not right you know it's gonna annoy me so better make sure that i do that properly okay it's always a tricky bit getting these little tabby bits down there we go we're all in we're all good and there we go Look how pretty it is. And then, you can imagine, loads together. It's gonna look so good. So these are the four that I think look really good together, but I just need to make sure that they're in the right place. Like, 
I don't know if I want to swap those over or those over, but I feel like that's quite nice actually. How it is, however, that kind of bends in, so maybe I'll put the hemlock down there. Does that look better? I feel like that kind of bends in then, it's not bending outwards. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, and I feel like, yeah, that's nice. I'm happy with that. So I've got two up already, and I'm really happy with how they're looking. I would say they're pretty level too. Also, I'm gonna have to be a bit careful with this cupboard door to not, you know, swing around and bash it. But to be fair, when I do go in this cupboard, normally it's just, I open it like that anyway, and just grab something and then put it back. That's like my drinks cupboard, if you couldn't tell. Um, and then, yeah, hope I might need to get like a little step stool, or I might need to, I'm probably just gonna climb up on here, actually. It's probably not very sanitary, me. With outside clothes on the work surface, but there we go. It's gonna look good. Thought I would tell you how I'm actually putting these picture frames up because it's a little bit different. Now I was gonna sort of net put a nail in the wall, that kind of thing, but the plaster is really old and a bit crumbly, so that wasn't really working too well. Um, so I actually ordered these like picture hanging strips online. Not an ad, just thought I would, you know, tell you guys about it because these are really light picture frames and so far, the two have stuck on. They're staying up, so fingers crossed the rest do too. Um, so yeah, they just have these like little sticky bits on the back that um, I put on. And then there's the fluffy bit, which is, I'm gonna have to get some fluffy ones out. A bit like Velcro, basically. Um, and then they kind of just stick together. And there you go, it's actually really strong. So fingers crossed, yeah, it keeps, keeps them up because I don't wanna be, you know, in the middle of the night, my picture frames hanging down and scaring the living daylights out of me because that would not be good. All right, final one. Is it gonna go in the right place? Ooh. Moment of truth, okay. That's level, that's level, that's level. So out there looks good. Then squeeze it on. I'll be here just a little while, just making sure it stays. It's always so nerve wracking taking your fingers away because I'm worried it's just gonna fall down and break. Because that might have, might have happened previously when I used the nails can see there I've glued that one together not too well <laughs> there we go my pictures are now up just a little something please do not compare it to I was gonna say any of the straight lines in my house like the wall here basically something I found out in the last few months is that my house isn't very straight like wherever you go everything's like just a little bit wonky but that's fine I mean like even like I felt like my bathroom floor my little vanity thing it was really difficult like because we were like do we make it so it's like actually straight or do we just line it with the floor because it does like dip down a little bit but you know what it's got character I love my cottage very much I love it. it's all it's different quirks and things that aren't quite right maybe not so much when the roof was falling down but apart from that it's all been very good i'm really happy with how the kitchen's looking um you might see i went to the garden center recently i've got lots of plants that i've added to all the windowsills i feel like plants just really add something to a house it makes it kind of feel alive um so yeah, it won't be long until my blinds are ready and then pretty much that will be the kitchen complete so i think i'm going to finish off today's video here since we have done a lot um obviously there's still a lot more to do i need to redo my whole um like dressing area i need to get a dressing table i need to put loads of clothes in my wardrobes i need to bring my other bed up into the master bedroom or my bedroom um so yeah there's still a lot to do i am actually going to do some vlogging this week so the vlogs will be back soon so that's really exciting where i'm going to go thrifting as well get some secondhand furniture so that'll be really good fun so look out for that but anyway thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time bye